oral questions, question oral, the Honourable Leader of the Opposition. Mr. Speaker, for a thousand days, the two Michaels languished in a cell of torture with no windows, no hope, and no idea of when they would be released. So, according to Global News, we learned that a Liberal Member of Parliament would have privately advised a high-ranking Chinese diplomat in order to keep the two Michaels in jail, according to sources. Now, the Prime Minister would should have known about this. He must have. When did he learn it, the Honourable Member? Michael Kovrig and Michael Spaver, they were the absolute priority of this government from day one. And I would say uh, they were the priority of all Canadians and everyone in this House. We worked tirelessly for two years to ensure that those people who were illegally detained were returned to Canada. And everyone in this House should be convinced of that, the Honourable Leader of the Opposition. A thousand days the two Michaels sat hopeless in a windowless cell, fed in doggy bowls that were slid under their door, going eight months without seeing consular support. Yet according to Global News, a Liberal MP allegedly contacted the Chinese consulate and encouraged them to delay the release of these two Michaels for partisan Liberal gain. The intelligence services that came up with this information to the media would have turned, told the Prime Minister. When did they tell him? The Honourable Minister of Foreign Affairs. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Let me be clear. Bring back the two Michaels, Michael Kovrick and Michael Spaver, was the utmost priority of this government, here, here. Here, here. of all members of this House, of all Canadians across the country. For two years, we've worked tirelessly to make sure that these two Michaels, which were arbitrarily detained by China, would be coming back safe home. That's what we did, and that was the only priority. Thinking otherwise is actually false. Oh, leader of the Opposition. We have two members of our National Security Services that have told the media that a Liberal MP told the Chinese not to release the two Michaels. I've now twice asked when the Prime Minister, his office or his department were informed of this uh, startling revelation. So I'm going to ask a third time, and I ask the Minister to answer, when did the Prime Minister become aware of these allegations? When? Honourable Minister. Mr. Speaker, September 24th 2021 was a great day for Canada. Here, here. Here. It was the day when the two Michaels, Michael Kovrick and Michael Spaver, came back safely home to Canada. And I think it was a day when this government, all members of this House, all Canadians were proud of what we'd done because indeed the two Michaels were arbitrarily detained for too long in China. And Mr. Speaker, this will always be our priority as a government. We will st always stand up against any form of arbitrary detention in state-to-state -state relations. The Honourable Leader of the Opposition. This non-answer is extremely troubling. We have revelations from Canada's top security forces who told the media that a Liberal MP asked the Chinese consulate to keep two Canadians in torture in a windowless cell. I asked already three times, when did the Prime Minister become aware of these revelations? I ask again, when? The Honourable Minister for Foreign Affairs. Mr. Speaker, I would like to thank all the members of this House that were involved in making sure that we could raise the case of the two Michaels for two years. Because we worked with friends and allies, different states around the world, 
to make sure that we could advocate their case and that on September 24, 2021, they would be coming back here in Canada. And so in that sense, we will always stand up against any form of arbitrary detention. This is part of our priority in terms of foreign policy. In April in Toronto, we will be hosting an arbitrary detention summit because the world needs to know that what happened to the two Michaels was unacceptable.